books. They are full of stories, full of history, especially these ones. They once belonged to Leopold Zinger. Due to his Jewish origin, he was forced to leave Austria during the Second World War. With his home, he lost all of the books he had collected over a lifetime. Now, over 70 years later, his three great-grandchildren gather at the VU Library for a special occasion. In an intimate restitution ceremony, they are having 700 of the books returned to their family, all hand-signed by Leopold Zinger. I don't think he imagined that this will happen someday. Amir Zinger and his family were surprised to learn that their ancestor was once a successful chemist working for the oil industry. I was very surprised to hear about those books, about the number of the books, and I feel like a journey to the past, uh, looking and finding new uh, things I didn't know about my grandfather. We know only what happened after the Angelus, we don't know what was before, but now we are learning that they re really had lives here. They lived here for centuries and they studied and they worked and they, they were successful and yeah, had children and, you know, whole lives. Roswitha Hammer and Regina Zodl spent many years going through more than 60,000 books in an autopsy process that takes a lot of patience. Wir haben nämlich von 1 bis 66000 alle Signaturen autopsiert. Das heißt, wir haben jedes Buch in der Hand gehabt und haben sie auf Provenienzspuren hin geprüft. Und ich würde sagen, der berührendste Moment für mich war, als ich da zuschauen durfte, wie die Familie die Bücher in die Hand nimmt und und sich freut und überrascht ist und also diese Wertschätzung den Büchern gegenüber in dieser Form zu sehen und diese Emotionen, die das auslöst, das war sehr berührend und sehr schön für mich. The Parliament Library was project partner and even there books were found. For me it was something special because libraries usually concentrate on cataloging, looking for formal details of books such as author, title, subtitle, but usually we know little or not to say nothing about the owners of the books. Gathering the selection of books was one challenge, the next was to find the Zinger family in Israel. It was very surprising because uh, the information that we had uh, beforehand was that all the books were uh, destroyed. And we, uh, at least that was what I always heard, and uh, we had no idea that uh, the books still exist. Uh, I know I, I had in my home uh, a single book, uh, from his collection and this was uh, known to be like the last book that has survived and, and uh, this is also what I told my kids about this book. It's the first time that we connect everything like, um, like a chain by, by chapters, chapter after chapter and uh, this trip here in Vienna it's like um, for me it's a kind of a movie or kind of um, story. of a story, um, story that comes alive. The VU certainly started their winter semester 2015 with an important event. We have to do this. It is really um, our duty, I think, to do such things. Maybe I will go to the older volumes and check the first page whether there is an autograph. <laughs> Maybe there, because I have many books uh, formerly owned by my grandparents uh, or great-grandparents, and maybe I find something.